could have had a costume change. Yes. <laughs> Wardrobe change. <laughs> it's a good day when your team is doing well. And for the University of Toledo Rocket football fans, this Saturday should prove to be a very good day. Yeah, the Rockets athletic director, Brian Blair, joins us this morning with an invitation to head up I-75 <laughs> to Detroit for this weekend. It's another big yeah, game. This is a championship game. Back championship. Yeah, it doesn't get any bigger, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, I told somebody the other day we were talking about the season, and the fact is the 12 teams in the MAC, um, and we've got 10 of them going to watch us play um, at noon on Saturday. Ooh, All right. So we're, we're really excited about um, the fact that we get to represent um, Toledo, this mm -hmm. city, this community, and everybody else um, on the big stage. It's really exciting. Playing Bob. Ohio University, right? Correct. All Bobcats. Right. So mm -hmm. we've got two teams from Ohio um, playing on Saturday for a championship. It's pretty special. I imagine that the crowd is going to be huge at Ford Field then. We're yeah. expecting a lot of people to come out and hopefully we're in their... The Rockets gear, right? Yeah. I think the great thing about the MAC is everything's so regional. Everything's within driving distance. And for our fans, they get to wake up on Saturday morning, drive 45 minutes north, mm -hmm. experience a great game, be back in their, their homes by 5 or 30 or 6 o'clock. I'm um, going to eat dinner with their family. So it's a great excuse to get up to Detroit, mm -hmm. um, experience a great game. We're excited. Yeah, absolutely. And weather won't be a factor playing at Ford Field, so that'll be nice, a really nice environment. Uh, so talk about that morning. Folks will get a chance, uh, alumni get a chance to tailgate and things like that uh, before that noon start, right? Yeah, so really exciting. They are alumni associations coordinated um, a pregame uh, buffet. It starts at 9.30 and goes to 11.30. Nice. Uh, so you get a chance to be around other Rockets, um, get all the excitement. I know I'll speak. I know our president will speak. I'm um, going to couple others to be on stage to kind of rally the troops, get everybody excited. And 11.30, we make our march to the field um, and hopefully be hoisting a trophy in about three or four hours. <laughs> hey. All right. So you're feeling good about this? I, I'm proud of our young men. Mm -hmm. I think it's been a, a good season. I think we've got a lot of talent on our team. And I tell anybody, we don't have to be Superman in this game. We just got to play to our fullest potential. And I think the score will take care of itself. Yeah, and uh, going to the MAC championship, uh, this is something that it seems like we're just growing accustomed to seeing yeah. the Rockets mm -hmm. in this championship game. Yeah, I mean, we'll go to 13 straight bowls mm -hmm. this year. <laughs> I and mean, this is, I think, our seventh appearance in the MAC championship mm -hmm. game. Um, the last time was with Coach Candle in 2017. Um, so we've had the high level success making appearances in this game and that's what you want you want a program I tell everybody I want all our student athletes to leave with a degree in one hand and a championship ring on the other mm -hmm. so once in four years I want them to appear in a championship and have a chance to win it um, so this is our group's chance to win that championship and we're really excited about that so the whole community though we want to get involved in this I know there's some signs out there people can put them out in their yards you know just yeah. you know he's got one right here <laughs> you know how can we all get behind you guys yeah so we've talked a lot about this concept of team Toledo um, and that's really all of us working Working together, when we work together, everybody wins in that situation. Mm -hmm. So this university, this city, this athletic department locking arms and pulling in the same direction. I tell anybody, a new business moves to Toledo, we all win. A new professor gets an endowment at the university, we all win. And when our football team wins a championship, this entire city should be proud of the place they call home. Um, so really working together as a team, supporting each other. So we've got yard signs, we're trying to champion that spirit and support each other. I'm going to each other on. And I saw this city come together in an amazing way when I first got here in May mm -hmm. for the Wallace Kelly Cup run. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to hope we mobilize in a similar fashion right. for this championship run. Beautiful. So those yard signs, how much are they? Yeah, free. Free. Okay. Yeah, we already paid for them. You just <laughs> nice. got to come by the ticket office and pick them up. So when you pick up your MAC championship ticket at our ticket office, you get as many yard signs as you want. Give them to a neighbor. Give them to a cousin. Give them to everybody. Um, put them in somebody's yard even if you don't know them. Um, <laughs> we, we want people You're excited. <laughs> <laughs> we want to spread that rocket cheer. We want midnight and gold to paint this mm -hmm. city because um, we've got a lot to be proud of. Yeah. And we want to do that throughout the week leading up to the game. Of course, we want people to get out there uh, to game to the game, too, and, and root you guys on. Yeah. Cheerio. Well, we've got a big basketball game tonight that we play Richmond, an NCAA team from last year. 7 o'clock, it's a blackout, so that's why I have these clothes on. Um, on Sunday, even, we've got a women's basketball team playing the Missouri State team that's been to the last three NCAA tournaments. So not only is it a big weekend for football and playing for a championship, it's a big weekend across all our sports. Um, so it's really rallying for all of our sports, but specifically uh, football for that championship run. Now, I know when folks go up to Ford Field, uh, they're rooting for the Rockets, right? Everyone's going to be rooting for the there Rockets. There you go. I like right? That. Right, right, right. That's the plan. Um, uh, are you guys offering uh, tickets specifically for uh, a section for the Rockets? Yeah, so should they uh, make sure they purchase them through the university? Absolutely. We would highly advocate that you purchase through the university um, just to make sure you're sitting with fellow Rockets. Mm -hmm. um, I don't need you blended in with any Bobcats right. in green and white. Yeah. I want all that midnight blue and gold sitting in one section cheering loudly for our student athletes. So you work with our ticket office via text, website, come in person. Happy to help you out. Grab a yard sign and show up Saturday, loud and proud.
So you mentioned you've been here, you got here in May, right? Correct. And this is your first football season, it obviously, is. here. You know, how have things been going for you so far, and what how, what have you been impressed by? Yeah, I, I think the pride of the city and the pride of our fans um, takes a backseat to nobody. I just saw a ranking when I was walking in today. Um, our student section was ranked number one in the MAC conference um, this year for their football attendance and their support. And if you came out to the BJE game, the score didn't go our way, but our student section was packed on a snowy Tuesday night. And I think that, that excitement, that fervor that we have amongst our fan base is really exciting for me because that's my starting point. Yeah. And then I get to figure out, okay, how can we tweak that to make it even better? Um, so really proud of our fan base for showing up and day in, day out. We led the MAC in attendance for the fifth straight year mm -hmm. and improved upon um, last year. So continue to take that foundation and build it on in future years. It's really exciting for me. Kind of risky bringing up that BGS. He did bring it. He brought it up. I'm just he saying there. that yeah. was a risk and you yeah. went there. But like you said, they'll be watching the MAC championship. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, the, the, that game didn't go the way it was, but I hope our neighbors down south will cheer for us on Saturday. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> we will be as well. Thank you so much for coming in today.